The property status options have recently changed. This video will explain how to search by the new status options. First, I will select the type of search I want to run. This is the standard search form. In this example, I will search for a residential, one house on lot property. Here, you can see the new status options. First, I will select the property status I want to search for. The active status is pre-selected for me. Next, I have the option of selecting a special listing condition. If I want to search for a short sale, I will select Include. If I want to avoid a short sale, I will select Exclude. If I do not select a special listing condition, the search results will include all special listing conditions. I will search for a short sale by selecting Include and then OK. Next, I will select the area I want to search in. In this example, I will search all of Sacramento County by selecting Sacramento, check all, and then OK. I always encourage to first get a preview count before running each search. Notice that the statuses have also been updated in the results display. The special listing condition has been added as a field option for your one-line grid display. To add the special listing condition to your one-line grid, do so in the Customize Grid page. If I select a property, you will also notice that the special listing condition is listed next to the status. The update has been applied to all searches, including the interactive map. Here you can see that the active status has been pre-selected. This can be set from the Your Preferences page. I could run the same search for a short sale property and then view my results. Mm -hmm.